Hey guys, um, some people have noticed that I've had a new logo on my Twitter and my YouTube and my Facebook page profiles and a couple of you have actually asked, oh, how do you make that? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So this logo that I have on the screen here is the logo that I have in my Facebook, Twitter and um, YouTube profiles and it's really easy to make. So. I should be able to show you this within a few minutes. I'm using a program called PaintShop Pro. This is PaintShop Pro 9. Uh, it's old, but I like it. So I use it and I know how to use it. I'm going to stick in the mud when it comes to changing to something new, especially something like this when I already know how to use it. So if you don't have any version of PaintShop Pro, you can go to Google and Google PaintShop Pro 9. You'll find a, a place to download a free trial somewhere. So yeah. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this because we're not making this one, we're not touching this one, we're making a new one. So I'm going to go to File and New and I want to make an image of 400 by 400 pixels that opens a, a white canvas for me to work with. The next thing I'm going to do is um, draw my ball. Everything in PaintShop Pro works in layers so the first thing you work with is the biggest layer and you work all the way down to the smallest layer so you do the background before you do anything else. So the background in my case is the, the ball and I'm going to pick a colour for my ball. My original one was orange so we'll pick a, an orange colour. I'm clicking with the right and left mouse buttons on the colour then it selects um, the outline and the middle part otherwise you might get a, a black outline and an orange center and we don't want that we want it orange all the way through then uh, I'm gonna have an argument with my rocket dock okay I'm gonna select this drawing tool down here and I can click on the arrow and choose from a couple of options I want the ellipse and I bring my mouse to the top left corner of the canvas click and drag across and draw a circle shape. There we go, we have a giant orange circle there. Isn't that exciting? The next thing I want to do is make it three dimensional because it looks a little bit boring and flat like this. I don't want a flat circle. I want a ball. So I'm going to go to effects. I am going to go to illumination effects and I'm going to choose a sunburst and it's telling me that it has to change some properties of the image to allow me to do this so I'll click OK because if I don't it won't allow me to choose the properties and I already have the settings here for the uh, sunburst as I used it a few days ago but you can um, there's a button on the right hand side under the right image that lets you uh, pick random ones until you see something that you like this, these settings already have it as a ball shape, already make it look like a ball shape, so I'm going to use them. Um, I've made the sunburst colour a lighter orange, and the brightness is 80, the horizontal position is 15, the vertical position is 21, the density is 80, uh, the brightness is 85, sorry, 95, and the Circle brightness is 31, and that basically makes it a ball shape. You could probably change the density a little bit, and it would make the sunburst a little bit bigger. You can see that from the image on the right. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and click OK and add these things here, and then you'll see it turns my boring circle into a three dimensional ball. Next thing I want to do is add some text, so I'm going to take the text tool from the left and I'm going to set a font, or not in this case, I want to see how this looks. So I need to pick some colours for my text and I'm going to click with my right hand mouse button on the white that makes the middle of my text white and I want the outline to be black so I'll click on the black with the left mouse button and then I will click somewhere in on the ball and I get a box that pops up which lets me insert text 
And all I want to do is have an A. At this point, I just want to edit the A in black and white. So I'm going to type an A and I'm going to click OK. And then you see there's an A there that I can drag and resize with these little squares all around it. So I'm going to drag it and make it into a nice big letter A. Um, I want to go to the, make it move to the left a little bit. Uh, it's about centered. Then I'm going to add the rest of the text by clicking again somewhere else on the ball. But first, I want to change my colors again because I don't want the rest of the text to look like this. I want the rest of the text in solid black. So, click again somewhere in the ball and we get a text box again where I can add the rest of the text. Oh, wait, I don't want the letter A there. <laughs> I'm so used to writing my name that I don't think. Let's apply it again. And again, I have text that I can drag and resize. Uh, I can also change the rotation, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to go and undo that. Okay, I want to resize it, not rotate it, please. There you go, I have some text. Uh, I want to add some more text underneath, so again I'm just clicking in a different place on the ball. So we can add the rest of my text, which is the slogan. Uh, however, I did it live, love, laugh, or something like that, did it say? I can't remember what I put there now, I think it was live, love, laugh. So, we'll apply that. And place it below. Uh, I'd like it a little bit smaller. Okay, if you want to make your text smaller, sometimes you don't want to drag it, you want it to um, be proportionate. So I just, I'll show you what I did again. I just push my mouse cursor onto a piece of text, and you'll notice just to the bottom right of the cursor there's an A with a line there, which means if I click on it, I can edit the text then. And I just want to go up to the top to where it's the size and make it uh, not bigger, smaller. So I'll set it to size 18 and apply the settings again. And now I can drag it so that it stretches across the ball a little bit more. Okay, now that I'm done applying text, I'm going to go to Selections and Select None, and it gets rid of those boxes around it. Okay, now the interesting question that some people wanted to know is how on earth did I get a black wheelchair inside an orange ball? Okay, there's a bit of cheating to be done to get a black wheelchair inside an orange ball, and that is uh, you go to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or wherever you want to go, and you Google it. First of all, don't steal pictures that from Google that have copyright marks or watermarks on them. That's actually illegal and if people see you using those online, they can be taken away from your profile, you can have your account closed, uh, you can get into a lot of trouble. So don't steal stuff that has copyright marks on it. But the, um, the common access sign or the common wheelchair sign isn't copyright. So and I want a black one, so I'm going to type in black and white wheelchair logo. Then I'll go to pictures. Sorry, my thing's in Dutch. If you can't follow it, it's, that would be the reason why. And I'm just looking for a nice logo to use. Jeez, uh, there's a lot. So, click on that, and I'm going to copy the image, so I'm right-clicking on the image, and I'm going to go to copy picture. It does say copy picture, trust me. <laughs> and click on it. Then I can switch back to PaintShop Pro, and 
right click in the grey space and click post this new image okay now we need to do some stuff to this image to get it inside the orange ball so first of all I want to get rid of the black border so we can do this an easy way I can take the crop tool click in the bottom left hand corner and just select the part of the image that I want to work with double click on if I double click on it or not in this case because my mouse never lets me double click okay I need to choose a different image so I can show you guys because obviously I can't double click um, let me get one wheel out of order go away I want one without a border. There we go. There's one without a border. We'll borrow this one. And switch back to PaintShop Pro and paste this new image again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this tool on the left called Magic Wand and click on it. Then I'm going to click. Oh shoot, that also has a black border. Why didn't you tell me that it has a black border, guys? Go away with your black borders. I want something that doesn't have a black border. Come on, be nice to me. Please. Pretty please. Okay, no, this, this by the way is totally unedited, so you're going to get all the mistakes in with the thing I can't that I really to paint but and it makes everything go horrible. Okay, I'm gonna steal this red one here. I'll copy this red one. Uh, we can turn it into a black one in a moment if I switch back to Paint Shop Pro and for the third time lucky paste it as a new image. Okay, first of all I don't want it to be red, I want it to be black so I'm gonna take the hook fill tool and then point to a red part and fill it in so that it becomes black. Okay, the second thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this white background otherwise I'm just going to have this white square on my orange ball and I don't want that. So remember I said to you before everything works with layers and the layers of a picture are listed down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So I'm working with just a background layer at the moment and I'm don't want that, I want to have an empty layer behind it. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go promote background layer. Okay, that changes it to raster one, which basically means there's now two layers in the picture. There's a background, which you don't see listed because it's hidden, and then there's this raster one. So I can then take the magic one tool and click on a white area and then you see, I don't know whether you can see it, but there are dotted lines running all around the edge of the the picture, all around the wheelchair and all around the edge. And then all I'm going to do is simply hit the delete key, and it starts to delete the white background and leave me with these squares. And when you see these squares in PaintShop Pro, it means that the background is clear, transparent. So then you can work with it in any way you want and put any colour behind it. So I'm going to go to Selections and select None now that I've cleared all of the white background away. Uh, I'm going to go to Image and Resize because I don't want it to be quite that big. Um, let's see what happens if I make it 100 pixels. Is that going to be small enough? Yeah, I think so. Then I'm going to go to this hand on the left hand side and point on the picture, right click and click Copy. And move him out of the way a little bit and I'm going to click on my ball right click again go to paste and I get a lot of options here I want to paste it as a new layer oh it's in the middle of my text how do we fix that okay we go to a move tool which when my rocket dock behaves is right here and we click on the layer that we want to move because you can rearrange all these layers of the picture and put them in different places. So click on this layer and drag it up a little bit and there you have a wheelchair inside an orange ball. Easy if you know how. So if you feel like downloading PaintShop Pro and making something simple like this you can take over 
pictures from the web as long as they don't have uh, copyright marks in them and you can try and shove something inside a ball and add some text around it and see what you come up with if you do um, send me a private message and show me the link and I'll show them in my next vlog um, until then I will uh, see you guys later thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial <laughs>